Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Friday, November the 1st. The year's 2024. Let's talk trading. Monthly open, NFP day. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. And always remember and never forget as we uh, open the month here. Have your risk management in place. Do not lose more than you're willing to lose on any one single trade. Or overall for that matter. Okay, so we're taking a look at the monthly. We've got a green month so far in November. We're 50 pips above the open, 19 off the high, 64 off the low. And you can see here, we touched inside the uh, lower wick zone of the previous month, but we're above it now. So we crossed above the uh, bottom of that previous month's candle. Notice we're also in the launch pad. For the week, we've got the Euro Yen that did not fill the gap. Pound filled the gap. And as you can see, we are now inside the opening range for the week. We're putting in the opening range for the month. And we're above the opening range for the year. Speaking of the year, 237 pips above the yearly open, 485 off the high, and 649 off the yearly low. We had an inside bar six days ago. We're back inside that range. So be looking for a bust out one side or the other. And we've got a handful of inside bar trades happening at the moment. The range for the day, 83 pips. It's NFP day. Pretty anemic. Um, I was talking with Walmart earlier. Um, he had to go, so he couldn't be on today's video. Um, but the jobs number for the U.S. were really bad. And, you know, I was looking at the chart, and I was talking about, well, it should probably do this. And if it does this, it should probably do that. And Walmart said, well, if we look at the fundamentals and you look at the jobs number and you look at the prediction that they're, their forecast that they're making, but you, and depending on what actually happens, um, you know, and looking at what happened on Wednesday with the ADP numbers, he was saying how, you know, this is just really bad for the U.S. And so... If that's the case, then the price should go down. But um, as I actually traded it today, um, I did the um, took the chance on the fake out the uh, candle at, um, right before the event. The one minute candle was red. I'm thinking it was a fake out. I put my order in, and it ran all the way up, and I got out with 39 pips. It was. Uh, but the thing is, I guess I was so excited, I didn't exit and reverse because it then dropped 20 pips. I could have made, could have made more on the way down. But um, that was that was that was a nice one. Um, but once again, this 83 pips on NFP day. I mean, back in the day, 150 pips. That was just the normal day's range. We're just slightly above half of that. It's, it's just anemic. Um, looking here at the H1, the uh, buy zone. And in fact, one trader said, uh, you used to focus more in trading the daily open. Um, I'm not really sure, but yeah, if, if, that hap if that trade happens, you know, during the uh, session that I'm there, yeah, I will definitely trade that. But you can see here, this happened back in London because it's 6 o'clock my time. So that would be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 o'clock, midnight. So, and I, I don't trade in, in, in this during this time. So, no, my trading time is usually, <clears throat> actually, I usually start at 6. But since it was NFP day, I got up a little, little bit earlier so I could, uh, 
have some fun with that. So, so yeah, trader, um, focusing on the uh, trading the daily open when it's available. Yeah, I, I still look at that. Um, also, I you know, and the weekly open and the monthly open. Yeah, so yeah, I still look at those. Just wanted to respond to that. Uh, rats, the range is large enough. Um, and I'm really surprised price hasn't come back down, considering how bad the jobs numbers were, NFP numbers. On the other hand, Walmart's thinking that, uh, you know, Europe's going to be even worse, so that's probably why price hasn't come back down here. And I think they've already flushed it out yesterday, um, just running, running amok yesterday that last day of the month halloween it was kind of scary out there huh okay looking at pivot trading plan bambino flex said to go short price near r1 short price near pivot short well uh, maybe earlier but the last time it it rocketed up so that's why you have to have your stops okay missed pivots we took out today's pivot for the week. We've taken out the pivot and we got a new month. Okay, we've got a pivot up at 130, 13044. 1 1.3044 is the monthly pivot and we have not taken that one out yet. We're 89, almost 90 pips away. Well, let's see what happens. That's all we can do, right? Wick zone. Um, once again, price doesn't like staying in the wick zone. Seventy percent number, you know. Yeah, I, I really like it. In fact, um, I modified, not really modified. I changed the inputs on my uh, wick zone multimeter, and I and I uh, I'm using that where it has to be uh, lit up. So the upper wick zone I have is a uh, like a sky blue, and the lower wick zone I have is like midnight blue and the rest I have turned it to gray so I only I'll take a trade only if I see see it in a wick zone that way I don't get caught in the middle and it's it, it, it's a nice little aid um, looking at the weekly range 200 pips 66 percentile over the last 12 weeks so not bad we did not break out of a previous high but we did break out at a previous low by 63 pips, so anybody shortened that, they were rewarded. And if you took that crossover, you were rewarded once again, because right now it's up uh, 48 pips above that previous week's low. Um, you red rats, 88 pips, green rats, um, 111 which happens to be the average. That's kind of interesting. Now 112. And you weekly crossover traders, 73 to the north and 127 to the south. So, you know, those horizontal lines, they can just, you know, they can be very useful in trading. And we've got an inside bar on the last M30. You can see here that M NFP, Produced a 49 pip range. Nice. We've got a new H4 candle also. I was already once short the open once, but then I said, hey, let me get out of that trade and make the video. But yeah, looking to short, maybe come back down, touch indicator two. And also here, you can see this hasn't been covered yet. We have not broken below that the open of this one so this candles uncovered for the day but you can see here it, a lot of times these candles will get covered and I look for that the uh, higher low lower high trades um, there was one right here that was worth one and the last one on the upside you can see just now crossing downward off of that and there's a pip to be made actually about two pips previously sometimes you can go to the well more than once sometimes it behooves 
the trader to only go to the well, take it once, don't get greedy. There's always more. Now, another trader asked how to set up that trading template. I'm not really sure which one uh, you want it, how to set it up and configure. If there's a if there's a, a screen you like, if you send me a screenshot, I can just send you the template. But then again, you need to have all the indicators. So, for example, uh, you know, there's the indicators here on this one. Um, on this one, a lot of times there's not a whole bunch. I mean, here, yeah, there's a, a couple of um, donationals, but the rest are pretty much, uh, you can download them. Um, let me think. I mean, this one here, that's just really just a couple old 2014 donationals. But you can actually use um, TRO HL5 to set that up as a Wix zone. Let me think. Is there any others? I don't think there's any others. I mean, this is just the uh, rat zone, mostly that indicator. And then there's the smart rat. Um, here we go. Range by month 83. We're just starting. But we'll take a look here. You can see October finished out with 546. The year-to-date accumulated range still has not been pushed. So November, we're bigger than 2020, what, 2021. We're bigger than 2012. So we're near the bottom, but the month's just started so who knows maybe we'll push that range and taking a quick look at year to date open the close as you can see you should have taken your money off the table in september because now you're only at 1.93 return Uh, let's see, what's the ATR normally? 361 in November. That's what we're looking at for this year. And what's the ATR percent? We're only at 23. Wow. October, we finished at 137 ATR, which is not bad. Whoops. Okay, looking at the uh, trade, I think it's, this is the trade reminder indicator here. Okay, in between the wick zones, where it looks like distance to the moving average, 13. I believe that's the EMA5, now 12. We're below the previous mid, fade the pivot by. Lower high, higher low, inside bar. And we'll look at, move into the week. We're above the uh, moving average by 67. We're between the wick zones, or that means we're in the candle body. We exceeded the previous range, previous week's range. Lower high, lower low. That indicates down. And for today, buyers are in strong control. We're inside the upper wick zone at the moment. We crossed above the previous mid, crossed above the pivot. 10 pips from the moving average, just below that. The high. And that's about it, traders. So I'm going to wish you a fun and safe weekend. Hope you had a fun and safe Halloween. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And like I said, send me a screenshot. I can send you the template. And always remember, never forget, traders. It's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one. Over and out.